So I guess when did you first figure out you'd be starting last week and, and just kind of what was the preparation for your first college start? Uh, well, figured out just kind of first of the week. They put me in there running with the ones and all week just ran with the ones and then just on Friday kind of figured out I was going to start. And uh, main thing with preparation was a lot of film, watching film, seeing what those guys do, what they're good at, their pass rush moves, all that. Looking back at the tape afterwards, how do you feel like you played? I feel like I played all right. I left a lot out there. I feel like I could play a lot better, though. In what areas? Uh, just run blocking. Uh, got thrown off a couple times. Didn't have a great base. So, just got to get better with that. Playing lower, too. Do you have to make sure that you don't put the pressure on yourself to be Ben Brown's replacement? I mean, you know, because he was, what, he's 40-some-odd snaps, uh, starts or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's, that's definitely tough. But, uh, you know, I've – Talk, Ben's been very helpful, though. I've talked to Ben a lot, and, I mean, we watch film together sometimes, and so he's been very helpful helpful talking me through that and getting me ready to go. Is it a good thing to start off against a defensive line as talented as Texas A&M's where, hey, this is about as difficult as it's probably going to get? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Just kind of throw the dog out into the pack, you know. Uh, and, yeah, I guess it was good. So. Snoop was talking a little bit yesterday about how – he thanked you or how he felt after that touchdown run because it kind of went your direction. What was that play like for you kind of helping seal the game? Oh, yeah, I was fired up. I got a big fist pump after that, and I was real fired up after that one. Is it – I know one play is in a whole game, but can a play like that build confidence going into a second start for you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I mean, because, you know, sometimes you have worries, you know, uh, but in that kind of stuff, build confidence. Um, I know we've asked other guys about, like, you know, the letdown from A&M to Vanderbilt. I'm, I'm going to assume for a guy making a second start, there's not really room or time for a letdown, right? Oh, no. I mean, you you got to treat everybody like they're the same. I mean, go out there like you're playing against first-round draft picks every week. I mean, you can't uh, go into a week saying, well, these guys aren't as good. you got to treat everybody the same. Has it been hard offensively just to get continuity with so many – different guys shuffling in on the line. You don't know which week, which receivers are going to be available and for how long. And Matt missing practice time with his ankles. Has it just been difficult to stay in a rhythm? Not really. I mean, Coach Thornton has done a good job keeping us all motivated and keeping everyone working hard, you know, because, I mean, I mean, like it's the past four weeks, there's been three or four different starters. So, I mean, Coach Thornton's really done a good job keeping everybody motivated and keeping everybody working hard.